It's a pivotal time in the history of quantum computing because we are seeing rapid progress in quantum hardware development, including the availability of more and more qubits and their improved fidelity and functionality. We can choose what strategy for scaling up the number of qubits to millions or billions of qubits. There is a strong affinity between classical information science and classical computer science and it's now getting very active and vibrant. The mission of QIQB is to explore the quantum frontiers of various sciences and to implement quantum innovations in society. We work in six research areas, quantum computing, quantum communication and security, quantum measurement and sensing, quantum information devices, including quantum simulators, quantum biology, and the fusion of quantum information with other fields. For quantum computing, we seamlessly study the full spectrum of quantum computer hardware, superconducting, ions, neutral atoms, and semiconductors. So our research group focuses on the theoretical and numerical study of quantum computing uh, with a particular emphasis on the applications of near-term quantum computing devices, so-called NISC devices, in various fields such as machine learning, uh, many-body physics and finance. Additionally, we are actively working on designing, building a large-scale fault-tolerant quantum computer and developing the software tools uh, necessary to make it a reality. However, these two paradigms, NISC and FTQC, are currently not seamlessly connected because of the large gap between the hardware requirements. So we are developing a new software approach which closes the gap between NISC and FTQC to find a quantum advantage for practical application in the near future. We focus on using trapped ions for quantum computing. Trapped ions are unique because they are highly isolated from the environment. Uh, we are trying to develop a system using vibration degrees of freedom to realize uh, error correction in that system and also uh, realize uh, relatively complex operations using that system. The successful implementation of quantum error correction will open the door for the practical use of quantum computers in various applications. With the dramatic development of machine learning, it has been become an interdisciplinary area between the two information science, classical and quantum. And I think computational chemistry using quantum computer is revolutionizing our understanding of complex chemical phenomena and providing new insights and perspectives on chemical processes. Currently, our group is investigating the application of quantum computing in the study of chemical reactions and the development of novel quantum algorithms for it. We are also exploring the integration of machine learning techniques into quantum chemical calculations to improve the accuracy and efficiency. I believe that quantum computers combined with quantum sensing could lead to new developments in drug discovery. The potential impact they could have is truly um, transformative. We will try to apply room temperature hyperpolarized MRI and nanodiamond sensors to medical and clinical applications. The hyperpolarized nuclear spins can be utilized for sensing the protein ligand interaction or metabolic process. In vitro sensing is useful for drug screening, and in vivo sensing is also useful for medical diagnostics, such as the evaluation of cancer treatment. We aim to significantly shorten the time to determine the efficacy of chemotherapy through real-time metabolic imaging, from a few weeks down to a few days. In December 2023, QIQB developed Japan's third superconducting quantum computer, which users can access via the cloud to execute quantum algorithms and to improve and verify software operations. QIQB's superconducting quantum computer utilizes a 64-qubit chip provided by Riken. 
With the exception of the refrigeration unit, most components of QA Qubit's quantum computer are manufactured in Japan. This advancement is poised to drive further progress in machine learning and the development of practical quantum algorithms, while also enabling the exploration of new use cases in material development and drug discovery. So uh, we are in a very exciting time for growth and development of quantum computing. These advancements are leading to exciting new opportunities for solving complex problems that are beyond the uh, reach of the classical computers. In the future, we want to be the first to provide quantum information infrastructure in which quantum computers, quantum simulators, and quantum sensors are connected by a quantum internet network.